Ugh, my head hurts so bad, I really hate being under treatment, it has been a week since I have been in this hospital, and already I am going crazy. I will never forgive Lola for tricking me into jumping into that radioactive mud at the park, I mean, the treatment I have been getting for the past several days has been painful. I'm glad that Lola at least got grounded for this, but I wonder how everyone is doing at home. Hello Loud Loud, it is Dr. John Armstrong. I am calling you on the PA system. To let you know you have a visitor, he is on his way to your room now. Thank you for listening. Also be prepared for later on for your next anti-radiation injection. I will be heading there in about 20 minutes. Now continue to rest. Wait, someone is actually really coming to see me. I thought that Armstrong said people were not allowed to visit me due to risk of infection. Hey Lena, how are you feeling? I just thought I'd come to say hi, since no one was visiting you. Oh my gosh Lincoln, is that really you? I can't believe you actually came to see me. What? You honestly thought I would be scared of a little radiation? Or the fact that you are green? Never. I always look after my younger siblings, and you know that Lana. Lincoln Loud, you are so lucky right now that I am sick with radiation posining and that I can't touch you. Because if I wasn't, I wrapped my arms around you and kiss you non-stop. Oh, I have no doubt, Lana. So how are things at home? Is there anything amazing going on that I am missing? How is my pet frog? Well, to be honest, Lana, things are not going well. I destroyed Gloria's phone and got grounded by Lenny and Lynn last week, until I escaped. What? You destroyed Laurie's phone? Lincoln, why would you do that? I couldn't take her talking about Bobby anymore. So I did it in a way to finally get her to shut up. In the end I only ended up getting grounded. I was even forced into your room. Lincoln, I understand it is annoying. And yes I'm not going to lie. I once told Laurie that her and Bobby should screw and get it over with. But that was not right Lincoln. Yeah, yeah you're angry as well. I get it already. I've already gotten that crap from Lynn, Lenny, Laurie and even Lola. I don't need it coming from you two. Look Lincoln. I'm just saying there was an easier way to handle it. You should have just talked to Laurie and told her to ease up a bit on the phone. Lena, you have been here the entire time. You don't know what life has been like back at home. To be honest I don't know what is going on in the loud house right now. I've run away. Lincoln you can't be serious. Please tell me this is a joke. Afraid not Lena. You and I both know that my sisters are never going to change. And it's gotten to the point that it hurts. So. I am doing what is necessary and leaving it all. This is another reason I decided to come and visit Lena. It's nothing against you, as you are one of the best sisters. But I came to not only say hello, but to say goodbye as well. Lincoln, please, don't run away I will. Literally go crazy if you do. Who will play with me in mud? Who will do anything with me anymore if you go? Please Lincoln, please reconsider. I will even go as far as to getting out of this bed right now and change my clothes into a dress, just to get you to stop, please. Lena, you don't like dresses. The only reason you wore one the last time, was because I was trying to win tickets for a roller coaster. Like I said this is not because of you. Besides, don't worry about me, I will still visit you during your time in the hospital, and I know so many spots around Roga City, so I will be fine Lana. Lincoln listen to me. Please just listen to me, I am not going to let you do this, if you have something that is bothering you, please I am begging you, just talk to me. Wow Lena, you always were stubborn, there is just no way of saying bye to you there, and you are never going to let me go are you? No I will not, you are our Lincoln Loud, and none of us will ever let you do this. Now just tell me what is wrong, and why you really wanna leave the ten of us. Fine, I'll tell you. The reason I am going, is because for one, Lori, she will never change. She will never stop talking about Bobby. She will never stop bullying anyone. Second, I am sick and tired of never being appreciated by anyone in the loud house. Every time I do something good for the family I end up grounded, or unappreciated. For example the time when I told you I destroyed Lori's phone was just so that us loud siblings could get some peace and quiet. But no they won't even respect that. There are so many other instances over the years that I can go on about, but I won't do, as you know what it is. I can't do anything in this family as the only boy, and I am tired. But, what really hurts me the most is the fact that you ten, are hypocrites as well. I remember you paired me with Ronnie and, you tried to get me to go out with her. 
In the end, I remember it well, I got punched, but I also was able to get into a relationship with her. But now that I am finally doing it, now you girls have a problem with it. What, Lincoln I didn't know about any of that stuff that is happening to you, as I have been here the entire time. Also what do you mean by us not liking you and Ronnie together? Oh, I can gladly come up with that scenario with no problem. But, now that we got that settled will you get the heck out already? Fine with me, golly, I hope Ronnie doesn't have to deal with this in the future. Oh my god, why on earth does Ronnie always have to be brought up? The two of us are just friends. Uh huh, sure she is Lincoln. That's why you spend more time with her than you used to do with us. What's wrong? Is my little sister all jealous? Ha 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 ha. I'm not jealous, you idiot. I'm just annoyed that you spend more time with her than us. Aha, uh -huh. sure you are. Look, Ronnie Ann, it's great to see you and all, but don't you have somewhere to be right now? Lola, what's the big idea? I don't have anything to do, Lola Loud. I can be free to talk with your brother if I choose to. May I remind you? It was you loud sisters that paired us to begin with. Word. Yeah, I admit, us loud siblings that pair you two together, but now it's starting to get annoying now. Lincoln Barley has time for any of us anymore, and we wish that he never knew you. Oh shut up, Lincoln spends every day with the ten of you loud sisters. Most of the time I'm elsewhere with my own family, meaning he has plenty of time for you as well. Oh yeah, then why do you always treat him as if he was your own personal punching bag? I do that as a form of passion, you know tough love, maybe if you learned how to read, you'd know what it means. And even Lincoln knows that. Now here is some advice for you little girl, if you can't accept the fact that Lincoln and I are happy, then something is mentally wrong with you loud sisters. I suggest, seek help. There is nothing wrong with my sanity, or any of the other loud sisters, we just find you annoying. And we will not stand for this. Either leave my brother alone or else. And if I don't? Oh, I will show you, right now. Will you girls knock it off? You are not worth my time, you little brat. Lincoln, I will call you sometime tonight. Yeah, you better run. And if I see you again, next time I won't hold back. And that is what happened a couple of days ago. Oh my gosh, is this really true? Lola actually fought with your best friend Ronnie Ann? And that is only the tip of the iceberg. Lori is no different. And I get the feeling Lynn is going to be the same way as well. Then eventually Laon, then Lini, and even Lucy. This is another reason why I have to leave. Because something is going on with you girls. And it is starting to freak me out now. Lincoln, just because Lori and Lola don't like your friend, doesn't mean it's going to affect the rest of us. It's probably just a coincidence. Trust me Lana, it is no coincidence. Lori was in her right mind and even in a good mood that day, and Lola was in her right mind too. I get the feeling Lynn will be next to feel it. Lincoln, have you ever stopped to think that, maybe you should just spend time with your friends to help clear your mind, even when grounded you can do that right now? I can't believe this Lana, you don't even believe me, I'm not making this up. I'm serious, something is really wrong with our family. Lincoln. I. Hello you two, sorry to disturb your conversation, but Mr. Loud, I must ask you to leave the room right now, for it is time for Lana to get her anti-radiation injection. Doc, can't Lincoln please just stay with me a little longer, can't that shot wait? I'm sorry young lady, but we are doing this not only for your safety, but the safety of your guest. So Lincoln Loud if you would please step outside the room. But, Doc. It's fine Lana, I will be okay. I will be outside until this is over with. Alright Lincoln, go on and head outside, just promise me you won't leave, and that you will come back the minute I am injected. Just please, be careful. Lana, you always were very protective of me, sometimes even more so than Lori herself, ha ha ha. I will be fine, see you when your treatment is done. And yet, you wonder why I love you so much Linky ha ha ha. Ah, my head hurts really bad and my ribs are bothering me so much. I really wish, I wasn't in so much pain, as I really want to search for Lincoln, and Lola, but I can't do it right now, especially when I am in this state. Hey Lenny, how are you feeling? Hurt Lewin, very hurt, more mentally than physically, I can barely move, and if I have a reaction my ribs hurt. Also where is our Lincoln? 
Did we find him yet? Not yet. Lin and the others are looking for him again. I chose to remain here to check on you. Well, I appreciate it, Luan. I really do. But what would make me happy is if you were out right now looking with the rest. I would love nothing but to do that, Lenny. But you are also our concern, especially after what you've been through yesterday. Which is why I chose to stay. Also, what are you doing on the couch? You should be in you and Lori's room resting a bit. Lenny, how are you feeling? Is everything okay? Lori, you are finally back. Where have you been? I was out talking to someone and getting help like I promised. Luin, could you do me a favor? Could you leave us please? I want to talk to Lenny alone. Okay, I will Lori. Hey Lenny, are you feeling any better? How are your ribs and legs? You, you have a lot of nerve to show your face around me after what you did to me yesterday. Get out of here right now Lori or better yet, get out of your tyrant. Lenny, I know you are angry. And you have every right to be, in a way, you were right, I was acting like a tyrant, that wasn't me, I have become something I thought I'd not, when I attacked you yesterday, it made me open my eyes, and realized what I have become, so I had been out, trying to get help, and thanks to a man named Sponge524 I got it. Don't you realize the damage, and emotional trauma you caused me Lori? Because of you I can't join the others in this search of Lincoln and Lola, and them being gone is scaring me. I understand, that you are feeling this way, I'm not asking you to forgive me, I just want you to understand, hurting you, hurt me more than it did you. You were only trying to help, which is why, I did the unthinkable, and turned my cell phone back to where you bought it and got your money back, I don't deserve it after what I've done to you. Wyatt. You returned the phone I gave you, but what about you and Bobby? I bought you that phone, so you can talk to your boyfriend when you are not out on dates. Why would you get rid of that phone? You love talking to your Bobby on it. It's okay Lenny, I don't regret it. I did this, because you as my younger sister mean more to me than even a phone conversation with Bobby. We are family. Besides, Lincoln stated himself, I go out with Bobby regardless. I don't need a phone to remain in a relationship with him, and even though he has moved away, we always reunite. I thank Lincoln very much for destroying my phone that day. Had he had not done it, I would still be the way I was before I attacked you. I owe my Lincoln dearly for this. He, just like you, changed me into a new girl. One that actually accepts mom and dad being gone and taking on the roles of motherhood toward her 10 siblings with no rejection. And besides, I have a beautiful 17-year-old to help me with the responsibility, along with Luin, Luna and even Lin. I have no regrets at being what I am now. Ah, Lori, thank you. I love you too, Lenny. Now stay here and rest. When you are better we will all head out and find Lola and bring back our Lincoln loud. You know it, sis. I hope I get better quick. When I see Lincoln I will never release him from my arms, you will have to pry me off ha ha ha. Not if I beat you to it, ha ha ha. Oh, you're on.